Can I go now? Yes, you can. <laughs> well, the mad works garage has been a little while, hasn't it? But uh, life, life takes over. Anyway, we're going to do a video on uh, Eugene, our uh, 1944 uh, GPW Jeep, um, who stood behind you. Uh, we've uh, I'm going on a, a epic journey with uh, uh, some mates next week to uh, Germany um, with the Jeeps, and unfortunately Eugene decided to play up for his life uh, this week. So I found all sorts of problems with it, so I'm just going to run you through it quick uh, so you can catch up before we start trying to fix it. Here he is. So if you remember from previous videos, this Jeep was stood for 30 odd years in a garage not a couple of miles from me, car coming I'm afraid, um, it'll be a bit noisy, uh, and so it stood for so long that obviously all the engine was seized, it was rusty inside, blah blah blah, anyway after about 500 engine flushes, that's probably an exaggeration, about five, um, uh, oil changes, recommissioning, blah 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 blah, he was running great, we had some really good fun in him and then all of a sudden last week he decided to play up and I couldn't put my finger on what it was. Anyway, so what we've done is gone over everything that we haven't touched because if it ain't broke, don't fix it type of thing um, and found a lot of problems. Basically, this is the fuel filter here um, and we've never touched the fuel filter because once you disturb them, they tend to leak. Um, so what I have done is I, in case it does leak, is I've bought a whole new gasket set for that. So uh, we won't know until we pump petrol back up through uh, exactly uh, whether it's going to leak or not. But anyway, that's all cleaned out now. And I'm glad we did because the sludge that was in there was incredible. I think I've got a bit of video or photograph of it and I will put that in the video. So that's that. So that's all clean and done. The distributor, we could never, never... Um, uh, uh, time up the, the Jeep properly because the distributor was stuck in the block. So I've managed to loosen the distributor so that all turns now, it's all cleaned and turned and lovely jubbly, that's great. And then um, we had a carb issue. Um, so I rebuilt my original Carter carb, which is as Blue Peter says when I prepared earlier here. Yeah. So that's all rebuilt with a new kit and everything else. Um, and it did run for a short time on it before um, it, it just wouldn't run right. So obviously I have to strip it down again and uh, have a look. So that's that. Now, when I was running it, I could hear there was a blow down here somewhere on the manifold. Um, I thought it might have been the manifold gasket. But as it turns out, the manifold was split just about in half. So... Um, Unfortunately, uh, that's that uh, that obviously it wasn't usable, so we've sent that off to be repaired because it's uh, an original F F marked one for the Jeep. So um, obviously it needs to be repaired. You can't just chuck something like that away. You know, F mark manifolds, F mark anything. You got to hang on to. Um, so <clears throat> a good friend of mine, Chris, he sent me another manifold, which is here. It's all down in the manifold, um, which Benny cleaned up yesterday. Give it a good old clean up for me. Um, what I've got to do is re-tap this and put a stud in there and uh, to get this out so we can screw in the um, breather. So, but other than that, it's all super duper. So we'll be able to get that on there uh, and hopefully get him running today. So we'll go down to the pub. Woohoo! <laughs> the trick is it's make or break now and he's behind the camera today I'll Hello. turn it around in a minute but um yeah he's one of the better looking uh, assistants that i've got uh no offense ben uh, um so yeah uh, hopefully all being well we're, we'll have him running because it's literally what day are we on now saturday yep saturday so it's next saturday i think that we're going to germany Not fingers crossed time. Not a lot. 28 next sat. Yeah. Yeah, not a lot of time. So that's where we are. So let's crack on. First of all, I'm going to get this done, uh, the manifold ready to go on, and let's get that done. And then we can, it's going to be gorgeous today. It already is. So 20 degrees. Best days. Best days. So we just, give me the. For stopping it. Oh. All right, let's switch around. This is out of the sun. <laughs> that is my, be like my beautiful daughter, Annie. <laughs> 
<laughs> is helping me out today. She wanted some daddy time, so best time to do it is when uh, when I'm working on on something. You don't often get the opportunity, do you? No, like it takes over because she's always way too busy, aren't you? Work. Yeah. Children. Yeah. Well, not my children. <laughs> yeah, right. Thirty of them. <laughs> she's been a busy girl. Anyway, <laughs> so let's get on and uh, see how we get on. Yep. Right. So what I've done is I've drilled this out and because we were too busy nattering forgot to put the camera on but didn't mind drilled that out um using different size bits finally with this one and uh, that was just inside the thread luckily it picked up on there and took the thread straight out so <laughs> very lucky indeed how about that so that fits nicely another whole turn round obviously when it's tight but that's that one done and that was the one that was worrying me so very happy with that so what I need to do now is switch it over and get to this stud, drill this stud out, hopefully in the same manner, and stick a new stud in it, and then we're quids in. We should be able to uh, get it in there. It's very unusual for all this to work as well. But uh, there you are, as long as it works. Oh. So we get that in there, in the vise, in the right position. Too much pressure on it i'm going to go knocking all this out of shape and we're going to drill this one out now Right, so managed to drill that one out nicely, got the thread showing, so now I've just got to find uh, some studs. Now, I did have some. I did have some, honest. But where? I can't remember. Here somewhere. Now, if Benny was here, he wouldn't know where they were either. <laughs> it wouldn't really help, would it? It might be up on that shelf. I know I had a, a few in a... Didn't have many left, to be fair. Uh, not exactly great video, is it? I'll pause it. Oh. <gasps> yeah. Oh, right. So I have now drilled this out and retapped it, and I have found a stud which I'm going to screw in there now, uh, like this, like that. Uh, it's screwing in further, and I've got a nut for that as well. So we're in business. <laughs> Here we go. Mm -hmm. Right. So we've done it. We're we're ready. We're super duper. Right. So I've tapped this out again. So this screws in nicely. Like that, and we have drilled out and replaced the stud on the ear with a brass nut. So all I need to do now is find a nut and bolt for this side uh, because this doesn't have a stud in it. I'm not sure it's supposed to have a stud. It should do, shouldn't it? But the hole's a bit, let's just say, a bit gapy. So um, I think a nut and bolt will probably be the best thing for that for the moment. I don't want to drill it out anymore. So there you go. It's ready. It's ready to go on. I wonder what this uh, underneath here is. We will never know because I can't see. I wonder if it's a GPW uh, thing. It's just got the number on it. Four five four. Sorry, nine four two five B. What was on the other one? Ooh, it's exciting. Nine four two five B. Now, what's the chance is that? There you go. There's the original. 9425B. Unfortunately, if, if it's GPW, which I'm sure it probably is, it's hidden under there. And I'm taking it bits of it. Anyway, let's get it back on the Jeep. Right, so we're going to refit this manifold. So I've got a new gasket on there, if you want to have a look. So I've got the new gasket on. We've just got to push that up. And then we'll pop the old fanny mould on. As we say, 
Danny Mould. <laughs> said that in front of the missus the other day. She said, what are you saying? I said, what do you mean? I said, well, I've got to get a fanny mould for the Jeep. <laughs> fanny mould. <laughs> what were you just saying? Yeah, it is. <laughs> right. Anyway, little things and all that. So, I'm going to pop this on. Hopefully. Oh, of course, the exhaust is having something to say about that. So I've got a knot on. I'll have to do that from underneath and pull it up on the ramp. But if I can just slot that in there a bit, mate, it'll help. Oh my god. Please line up. There we go. Oh. There we go. It's like it's made for it. Isn't it? Bit of luck. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that. Pull that down from underneath, cause oh, it's on the flexi anyway, isn't it? I'll put that nut up there for the exhaust. Okay. So one thing these didn't have was washers. I'm not sure they're supposed to have washers, but they didn't have them. So I'm not. I'm gonna put the best nuts because I couldn't find any new ones. So best nuts. Underneath where it's difficult to get to, give it more grip. And the worst nuts on the top, easier to change, right? Makes sense, doesn't it? I agree. Good. <laughs> you're going to anyway. Ain't you? <laughs> right. Of course. Oh, this is the one where you've got to dislocate your arm. I mean, you're getting it. Oh, bloody Nora. I'm going to have to come round there. You come round here and film from that way because I need to break my wrist. Get this on. That's better. There's always an angle that you can get it from. There you go. So that's the two awkward ones. Really awkward ones. You're bored yet? Mm -hmm. oh, got your arm. I'll put the worst ones on here because if I can get older, some I'll just change them then. But they'll do the job for now, wouldn't they? But nay. For nay. Mm. <laughs> you can't be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> On the wedding day, will you take... <laughs> Oops, sorry. That's <laughs> come out. <laughs> right, one more. This is another awkward bugger. Under it. It's just lovely to see that in there. Thank God, eh? For you. Thank heavens for that. Bloody hell, mate. That was a close one. <sighs> There's always one in there I can't quite get to. Tell you what, since I've lost a bit of weight, I do find it a lot easier to get around the Jeep. Especially getting behind the wheel. That's why you've got to give it to me, see. What, the weight? No, <laughs> the Jeep. Yeah, no chance, mate. This is going, I've been buried in this. The <laughs> waves going, it ain't going to be long. Right, move around. It's driving me to drink now. Oh, stop it. Uh, right, that's it. I'll just tighten them up. Okay. Okay, so we have all the gaskets all fitted. And, uh, gasket, manifolds all fitted with a new gasket. Everything's nice and tight. Uh, always like a pain in the wrist to get up the back, but in about multiple different spanners. But this one's very good for dropping on the floor. Okay. Right. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Do a couple of press ups. Oh, I've got the stomach back in. Right. This one I was saying is very good for getting up the back. You need to get in there, right? But Ideally, it, I, mean, I wouldn't cut this, but it needs, because this is like, it says for Vauxhall Bedford vehicles on it. But... <laughs> um, if you had it cut there for doing them back ones, it'd be beautiful, but it'd only be really any use that. Anyway, so next I'm going to fit, uh, refit this uh, breather thingy. So, um, that goes in here. Somewhere. Where's the hole? Oh no, I've lost the hole. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. 
stupid thing. Why is that in the... Oh, no. What's happened, Mike? Is that going the inside of there, then? Must be. Oh, I thought I'd had a bit of a nightmare then. Right, that should do that. Then that should go in there. I'm just going to make sure I've got it around the right way. Yeah, I have. It's still all a bit of a learning process, all this for me, because obviously I don't know Jeeps like I know Bedfords. It's a puzzle. A bit. It's a bit. It's a bit. Right, this is... Now this is snagging. This thing is snagging. It's going to snag on that for the moment, but it's all a bit close. The pipe comes outside a bit. I don't know. Did I get it right? Have I got it right? I don't know. So yeah, it looks about right. So I've got to get the span in here, which I've left at the back. Right, so tighten this up. I hate doing this. I hate tightening things up like this. You know, if you break it, there you go again. Got to start all over again. That looks about right, doesn't it, mate? Um, again, it's. Uh, have I got it in the right place? Do I do that one first? I would probably think so because it's brass. Have I got it in the right position? Probably not. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. I think so. Is that one still in the off? <laughs> oh, I can't see a damn thing. We'll turn that that way. Oh, that's better. That's it, Johnny boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> you don't want to cross thread things like this, do you? Oh, please, you can help yourself. Once in your life, man. I don't like this. Oh, I've got my ring stuck. I don't like all this floppy bit here. You know. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Please go in. You in? Or is that cross threading? Oh no, it's in. Thank God. Thank you very much. Right, where's my spanner gone? Yes. Jeep spanner, look. It's got Ford on it. You want to see this? Look at that. How sexy is that? Ford. <laughs> Jeep spanner. Got a part number on the back. If anyone's interested, it's B17015. Order one now. I don't think you'll get one, but try. <laughs> This is beautiful. Come on, my lovely little GP. We've got to go Germany. Yeah. <laughs> I know, well, you just don't want to go. You don't want to go back there. If you ever was there. Why is that hot? Sun. It's been cooking in the sun for about two hours. I forgot about that. I was going to say the battery's not connected, so I don't think it's anything else. Oh, look at this, Chris. Chris, me old mate, sending me up the manifold. Were you blinking legend? Didn't you? It's who you know, Dad, right? Pardon? It's who you know. Oh, yeah, good lads. Good lads. They only want me for my Jeep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, happy days. That was a bit I was dreading. So that's all back. I don't know about this floppy bit though. I'll have to have a look at that. It is working. But it ain't going to come by that pipe. So let's hope it's in the right position. Anyway, um, we'll get over that. So, uh, boys, can you keep quiet a minute? Trying a video. Uh, so, Carver 2 is next. The old Carver 2. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for the one I rebuilt to start with. This one. Um, and, oh, I've got a bitchy neck now. 
and see how we go because obviously being my own if it works on it then it can stay on it in it rather than using someone else's uh that i'll reg thank you uh, <laughs> the other thing that happened the other day is this coupling here uh, the inlet coupling on the, on, on, on the carburetor split um when i was tightening it up with the original pipe yeah but i ordered two new ones of someone on the internet which i don't want to mention any names and the coupling is a lot smaller so i've got this off one of my bedfords which fitted it and i've had to put a rubber hose between there and there which isn't what i wanted i want the original one back on but if it gets me to germany and back that's all i care about right now so i've got my carburetor bolts here nuts the other thing is uh this this gasket under here when you tighten the carburetor down on it it's got these copper uh, bushings in here and when you tighten up tight i've learned this just recently because again like i said what i know about jeeps go right on the stamp really but um when you tighten up your carb these crush and make an air seal between the the studs and the carb so luckily when i used it the other day i didn't tighten up too hard um and i managed to get this off the old manifold and, and reuse it for this one um so and the other thing is with these carbs you have to hold it up when you're putting it on and get this nut on first don't matter which way up get this nut on first and lower the carb as you're putting it on because otherwise you won't get it in there because it's all a bit tight yeah Finickety in it? It is a bit finickety, but it is what it is. Is it going? No. It's being stubborn. No, it's going. There you go. All right. No, it's not. Oh, you little monkey. I'll try it the other way up then. Oh, Eugene. God. I'll try the other nut. straight on you believe it <laughs> anyway so we'll get the other one started going good guns Annie going good guns got all the hard bit done mm. this nut doesn't want to play the uh... so I've got oil all over me now my beautiful skin um so we've got the manifold on, carburetor on, and exhaust connected again. Which was a bit of a struggle, to be fair. And I didn't video it, because I was spent most of my time swearing. Anyway, not that you'd mind, but I was. So, uh, uh, we're there. We're there. So I need to put the petrol line on, which is uh, here. We'll get that on there. Ooh, that one's a little bit, isn't it? We'll have to... Right, where's my um my authentic wartime screwdriver? Is it on? Right, I'll just tighten this up. This a nice little screwdriver, look, see? It's got a little mark on it. <laughs> oh. So we'll tighten that up. So we got Petarel. Petarel. Blimey, we're getting a little bit close, aren't we, really? I wonder if we can pump anything up. Ah, just got my ring stuck. Never wear your ring when you're working on <laughs> I shouldn't have this on because get yeah you hand caught on things. Ooh. I'm gonna take a bit of pumping because don't forget I, I've got to fill up the the um what I've got to fill up, Annie. I don't know, what have you got to fill up? I smell fuel. That's good. Always a good sign. Oil? The the petrol uh, filter over there. The pumping all there. the way through, yeah. <laughs> from there. I'm just seeing if there's any leaks. So I can't see any. Yeah. It doesn't mean there isn't any, of course. You love that smell. I oh, know. It's always been weird. <laughs> okay, so you meant to say no offence. Absolutely no. No fuel now. Here it comes. That's lovely. 
a little bit cloudy, but that's to be expected after cleaning all the f- all the f- <laughs> all the stuff, stuff out, of the, <laughs> uh, out, out of there. But there's no leaks, I don't think. There must be something wrong. Oops. There must be something wrong. Absolutely nothing. Oh my god. That's good, isn't it? Oh, look at that big F mark on there. That's nice, isn't it? <laughs> Red came up the other day and tried to steal it. Right. So really, I'm not going to connect all the carb up. I'm just going to try it because I might have to take the carb off again, and I can't see the point. I can do it all by hand with Annie sat in the in the driver's seat. But we need to secure all fixtures and fittings and tools and all that first. So let's get that cleaned up and we'll be back in a minute. Moment of truth. Um, Anna's in the driver's seat and she's going to press the starter button for me. Um, and I'm going to just control the carburetor by hand here for a minute. So we've got the distributor tight-ish but loose so I can turn that. Uh, petrol's up. Everything else is done. So fingers crossed guys. So there's just ignition on. Just check that. <coughs> right, ignition's on. Um, so all you've got to do is press the start button, right? I'm ready. You ready? Yeah. Go. Hang on. Right, go on. Vince says enough fuel. Fired straight away. I thought it was just going to jump into life, but it didn't. Okay, Annie, go. There's plenty of fuel there now. Uh, go again, Annie. Gene. if it's this gate thing. Pardon me. Right there. Go on then. God. Go on. Go on then, He's gonna go now. Go on in then. As soon as he tries to start, take your foot off. Okay. Okay, go on. <laughs> Nearly. Go on, love. Go on. Bad start, is it? <coughs> <laughs> Go again, love. Go on. Sorry, I took my foot off too quick then. Again? Yeah. No, okay, okay. Just give us a second. I'm just going to put this on so I don't get fire in my eye if it backfires on me. Just for a minute. Okay. Right, let's go again then. Right, right switch it off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, put the jump pack on it before I kill the battery. Trick. I've got 
Okay. Let's put this over here. It might the timing might be slightly out. I think what I might do is just advance it slightly before we try start it. Oh my god. What? Went a bit too far. Let's try and start it again. Um why is it that far? Pardon? What do you mean? What do I mean? What do I mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? I don't know what you mean. Oh, don't worry. I don't know what I mean at the time either. Advance the timing, I said. Advance, yes. Uh, okay, there's a bit of a fiddle going on here at the minute. Get this uh, old vintage jump pack in position. Oh, that ain't going to reach. Why ain't going to reach? Uh. Have a bit of six volts up there, Eugene. Give me a bit of a hand. Uh, so we can go. It's got some serious power now. I right, can hear it. Sounds like a flux capacitor. <laughs> on, right. Yeah, when you're ready. Oh my God! She sounds amazing. filter oh, shit. yeah and all that smoke's normal it's all the stuff burning off the manifold but that is nothing the engine sounds as sweet as a little Whoa, hey, happy days Whoa. right just had lunch break we was hungry weren't we Annie? Mm -hmm. anyway come back i'll just uh connected the uh throttle linkages up i had to shorten the cable for the choke because this one's off a of bedford mate the original choke for the thing broke uh but it only looked different because it's got a black knob rather than a green one it looks the same otherwise so i've got to cut the excess off and i've just had to take the knot off the back of the cover because i forgot to put this on <laughs> which is really annoying anyway so i'll put this on which is the spring retainer for the throttle return i don't know whether it's actually called that but it's that it's green it's got a little wing nut on it mate some flaky paint now, I've bent it. So I'm gonna pop that on there, like that. And tighten this up, hopefully nothing's moved. Oh, don't want no running problems now. Right, so I'll get this on. So the thing about, when you take something to pieces, it gives you opportunity to clean all the threads, doesn't it? And put it back together, it's really easy. Anyway, I hope you've got my best side. Of course I've got your best side, every side's the best side. Oh, that's so lovely. <laughs> Anyone can tell you, my daughter. Hey. Would you expect anything less? Oh, not from you, my dear. <laughs> God, we're all being so nice to each other today. Mm -hmm. We're all arguing. No, we're not. Oh, see, this is why I need to make a very special spanner for this job. I can call it Brian. Brian. Brian oh. Spanner. I don't think it really matters. I'm sure they'll find something to do copyright on, as they always do. <laughs> right, that's back on. Now I can put my retaining spring, return spring for one throttle linkage. That's <laughs> it. And we'll give it a little, uh, little, oh, I should just do it here. Oh, look at that, that's beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. That's beautiful. 
Right, now we need to start him up and check the tension on that in a minute. Like that, and we'll tighten that up. Yeah, you know, I'm most chuffed about the fact that our, my carburetor that I rebuilt <laughs> myself on the kitchen table when mum was out, in brackets. On the kitchen table, on a rainy day, works perfectly, or seems to. I'll tighten this up. <laughs> Made in the USA, diamond Dutch, is it? Something like that, Dolch? I don't know, can't see it. You see that? Anyway, pliers. See what? And snip that off. Hey. Look at that. Tidy. Beautiful, mate. Keep that bit of wire, always handy for poking in a small hole. <laughs> 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 okay so that's all super duper and i think what we should do is fire them up again now and um, make sure the controls are working what do you think mate Right, Ooh, hang on. Okay, so uh, Eugene is parked outside. We're just about to go on a road run, just to test him out, uh, just to make sure he's all good. We have changed the uh, coolant, um, and so far so good. So let's see what happens. Annie's sweeping up. We yeah. are. She's sweeping all the stuff onto the mess we've made, which is good, because it needs to. Anyway, we'll catch you in the Jeep. We go then test drive hope for the best be a lot of wind noise but ignore that let's enjoy let's hope we're going to be all right here Ha <laughs> ha! 
lots of bugs around. <laughs> right, we got great oil pressure. 60, temperature's normal. Charging all right, everything normal. Smells a bit fresh, doesn't it? Yeah, a bit burny. to dry my hair if it was wet at all. <laughs> Tick over's a little bit high. Go on in, Bong. Oh, uh, Blue bon. tread, come Blue on. Tread, in you go. Over's 40, uh, temperature sitting at about 120, 130. Amps are fine. The petrol gauge does exactly what it always does. That's full. <laughs> <laughs> I hate the petrol gauge, it's new. New sender, new petrol gauge. Doesn't work. And it does work, but that's full on the empty. And when it's empty, it's down here. <laughs> so, God knows, maybe one of the lads will sort that out on it. But, um, there we are. Success! Very much so. Very High five. Happy. Well done, Annie. Well done, Dad. Nice work. See you later.